Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech where we need to destroy Colonel Lee's stronghold. My agents have traced Colonel Basil Lee's to a stronghold in the basin ahead. I want you to raise it to the ground and destroy anything that attempts to protect it. Show this Davian animal what the Draconis Combine does to those who would slaughter its people. You heard what Lee's did on Shalkala. The galaxy will be a better place without a man like him in it. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> The disused stronghold that Colonel Lees and his band of war criminals have holed up in should be just ahead of you, Commander. I want you to go in with guns blazing and pull the whole structure down on top of Lees. Bury that rat bastard under a ton of rubble. He's more than earned it. I raise my glass to you and your lance, Commander Rinaldi. Bring that son of a bitch to justice. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll find a lost civilization here. Look at that. Our glorious Highlander. Is it not amazing? It is amazing. Highlanders are a really good mech. I like them. So much damage that they output, and so durable. Rolling. Okay, let's head up this way. We've got a contact. Uh -huh. That looks like a turret. It's because it is a turret. We've also got a quick draw. Griffin, Shadowhawk, something like that. I mean, we're a full skull above the difficulty here. That... A 70 tonner is probably a grasshopper. We've got a second turret here. So I think first things first, let's take our Orion up. And we see the heavy sniper turret. 225 HP. But I think we should immediately precision strike the Wolverine right in that AC5. Which is in one of the arms. Yeah, that arm. So this torso. Okay. Not an ideal damage spread, but it works. Next, let's go ahead and bring up the Black Knight. And the Black Knight can't both be in cover and get eyes on these guys, so instead, we will work on the Sniper Turret. There we go. Now we do see another turret here and here, and I think... That looks like a turret platform, right? Yeah, that looks like a turret platform there. So I'm going to guess there's a turret there. Let's go ahead and bring our Orion up over here. Up over here. There we go. And our mission here is to finish the heavy sniper turret, which only has 60 some HP. So uh, what's 4 times 15? That's 60. So we would need to fire two LRMs at it. We're going to multi-target here, A, B, we're going to fire a better LRM at the Wolverine. Got it. There we go. And now for the Wolverine. Do we kill that AC-5? No, we do not. Okay. Well, I expect them to mostly do a whole lot of nothing. I'm here. But we can get our Highlander over to here to attack the dragon. Now it's out of cover, but it's going to have two evasive pips. And of course we can only attack it with our AC-10. Or we can just brace. I think we can just brace here. Okay, the dragon's going to close and attack our Orion. That's fine. Plenty of armor there. Here comes the grasshopper. LRM5. I really don't care. Okay, so we see two more turrets. I'm more concerned right now about this Wolverine. So I would like to push up this direction perhaps, or just stay put actually. We're sheltered from these turrets right now, so if we can draw them to us, this is an ideal location. I want to precision strike this guy again in that torso. Take off his AC-5. There we go. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He's feeling that. And otherwise, we're just going to stay put. I hear ya. 
Now, our Black Knight is going to have to either break cover. Uh, yeah, our Black Knight is going to be forced to, to break cover in order to fire. Interesting. Let's go ahead and use our Orion first, then. So we can just stay put with the Orion and fire on the Wolverine. How much HP did he have left? 18. Okay, so now we'll pull out the Black Knight over to about... Um, about here. It might be exposed to turret fire for one turn. But I think that's okay. We're going to multi-target AB. And this guy has, like, very little HP left. This Wolverine. He has 18 HP. So I would like to just fire a single large laser at him. We'll fire, we'll fire our worst large laser at him, actually. Like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, and then decent chunks of damage. Excellent. And yeah, that's... About what I expected is shots on the Black Knight from this turret. But we can now move our Highlander. In fact, I'm going to see how far we can jump him. Pretty far. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take point with the Highlander now. Now, he's evasive. He did not make it into this cover, unfortunately. But we can now fire on this dragon and do a lot of damage. Realistically, we have 200 rounds of SRM ammo, so 20 turns of that, and 16 turns of AC-10 ammo. And even when those are exhausted, we have three medium lasers and three small lasers, so no slouch in terms of the damage. And our melee is 115, despite not having any melee enhancers. Engaging target. Ooh, that ammo explosion. All he's got left is his AC-5. They didn't fire their turret at our Highlander. Okay. I'm really, really confused. What exactly was the point of this dragon moving out of cover and then firing his single AC-5 at a Highlander that had just jumped. I don't get it. That is bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Now that doesn't give us cover. Okay. I mean, honestly, let's just precision strike this dragon and take him out. He's not in cover. Twenty-five HP left in that torso. We could theoretically, at this point, just reserve, which is what we're gonna do. Yep, I'm expecting some hits on the Highlander. Luckily, the Highlander can take it. It still has more armor than the Orion ever had. So now we can walk the Highlander forward here, like so, and then. Looking at this, we do have that grasshopper, we've got the dragon, we've got the heavy shredder, or rather the heavy sniper turret here. So let's go ahead and multi-target. I'm going to A, B, C. We're going to toss the AC-10 at the heavy sniper turret. We are going to toss the small lasers only at the dragon, and then the SRMs and medium lasers at the grasshopper. And look at how little we're building up with an alpha strike here. That's interesting. Engaging. Multiple targets. And that's a dead dragon. Excellent. And we hit the sniper turret to weaken it. And we did a decent chunk of damage to the grasshopper. Okay, both of those... Actually, all of that pretty much hit. But we still have so much armor on the Highlander. 
Let's uh go ahead and Waiting bring the Orion the up over here. On my way. And realistically, I want to hit only this grasshopper because we don't really have a way to hit the grasshopper with our Black Knight, so the Black Knight can be responsible for taking out the sniper turret. So the grasshopper is going to take a pounding from the LRMs here. There we go. And now the Orion can come out over this direction. Honestly, we're going to need to pretty much sprint forward here. And we're going to take a shot from this turret. But that's okay. This turret here. Now I'm hoping that they go for the Orion. Oh, he's actually going to punch. I, I can respect that decision. That's fair. I would punch too. But even so, that Orion is uh, not caring about anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Black Knight up over here-ish. I would like to be in cover. So I guess here is gonna be the best location for now. And your job is simply eliminate the sniper turret. Oh, two HP left? Seriously? Lame. Okay. I hear ya. We're gonna need to multi-target then. A and B. Fire the vast majority of them at B. But take out A. Like, only fire one missile at A if you could, but wasn't an option. And of course that sniper turret won't die from that, but it'll be very close. And then we can use the Orion here to, what, just attack the Grasshopper, I think? Yeah, the Grasshopper is the only target here. The question is, do we fire or do we punch? And based on our heat level, I think we definitely fire because we're going to do a lot more damage. Oh, we took out a heat sink on the Grasshopper. That's actually a huge deal. Oh, we actually took out that entire torso. I am okay with that. And then we're going to go ahead and move over here with Ace Pilot. Watch yourself, boss. Looks like Lee's just called in the cavalry. Okay. That's from getting too close. Shouldn't have done that. But we still have the heavy shredder turret there. Okay. Our turn. I'm ready. So we can, in fact, attack that over here with the AC-10. And we're going to do that. And then everything else is going to go on that grasshopper. And we're just going to try to shred it. Got it, Commander. And that sniper turret is now close to dead. Ooh, a head hit and a knockdown. That's intriguing. The grasshopper is only in phase two, though, so it's going to get up right away. Ooh, that was bad luck right there. Oh, but it didn't fire with the shredder turret. It's actually a really big deal. That's quite a lot of LRMs, but they almost all missed. So the reinforcements are over here then. We know that. Good to know. Okay, go. let's go ahead and use our missile boat here, and we are going to multi-target A and B. Firing primarily at the Shredder turret, but a little bit at the Sniper turret. That'll eliminate the Sniper turret. Oh, one HP left? Seriously? Okay. I think one missile missed. Okay. Now this Grasshopper is going to get up. And what's he going to do? Meliar Orion again. That's rude. Okay. Just two medium lasers in that arm. This torso is getting a little dangerous, though. So what we want to do right now is we want to bring our Black Knight out over here. I want to get through the Spore Cloud, but unfortunately that's not really an option right now. So we're going to sit in the Spore Cloud, which is a problem. And we're going to do a multi-shot here. Oh, we actually can't reach that. That's awkward. 
Well, we're going to hit the Grasshopper then, as well as the Heavy Shredder turret, which has 120 HP left. So all three of these hitting it should theoretically kill the Heavy Shredder turret. And then the large laser plus 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 can hit the grasshopper. Got it. We didn't hit the center, did we? Well, it's still up, regardless. One HP again? Oh boy. Okay, so both of these turrets have one HP. And all we can move here is the Orion. So, we don't have multi-shot. I think our best bet is to back off here and kill the Grasshopper. He has 56 HP in that center torso. I think it's worth an AC-20 shot to guarantee it. There we go. The Davian Garrison is down. And we are out of LOS of this turret. Not this one, though. So here comes a quick draw. Okay, Diva, I want you to walk forward here. And your entire mission is just finish off these turrets. Don't fire the AC-10. Don't fire the SRMs. Just fire the two medium lasers. That's... Hmm. You have to fire the AC-10? It's out of range? Okay. Fire the AC-10 and the medium laser and just finish them. Otherwise, sink heat. There's the Shredder turret gone, and there's the Sniper turret gone. Okay, turrets are gone. Target eliminated. Excellent. Now, as far as this quick draw goes, he is closing in on our fire support back here. So we should probably think about repositioning and sinking some heat. So for right now, we're just going to draw withdraw over to this direction. And see where he comes in. We can always jump our Highlander up over here, which is, in fact, the plan. At this point, I think we should reserve, now that we got this guy out of out of danger. We saw the quick draw very briefly there, and it is indeed a quick draw. That confirmed it. But let's go ahead and jump the Highlander over here. It has plenty of armor left. And this will give us sight on the quick draw. He doesn't really have evasive pips. He is, of course, guarded, but that's fine. Roger that. Ooh, SRM ammo explosion. Nice. It's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. So our Black Knight can't really get anywhere to help out against those mechs, so we can sprint over here and sink heat. Max speed, no shooting. There we go. Now the Orion. Can you help out over there? Not really. But what you can do is come over here and fire at the large military building. Don't bother firing the AC-20. Just sink a little heat and otherwise work on the main objective a little bit. No point in not. Okay, we've got a 50-tonner down here. Taking off an evasive pip from our Highlander. We might have to fall off of here. Oh, that's probably a trebuchet. With that many missiles in a 50-tonner? Yeah, that's a trebuchet. Okay. Seems good. Well, it is time for a cut, so I'm going to go ahead and put one of those in, and next episode, we will finish destroying Colonel Lee's stronghold. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.